Hey Corbanth Saber fans, I'm going to show you how to operate the new Corbanth CrossGuard 3.0 Kylo Saber. So when you first get it, there's a lot of things you can do first, but I'm going to show you how to light it up. So you have two buttons here, and one of the buttons will light up the blade and one will and light it down as well as play music, and the other button will change fonts. So I'm pretty sure this one here is the These aren't the droids you're looking for. Traitor! So here's your uh, Kylo blade. Now to turn it off you can uh, hold the button or you can twist it and it turns off by twisting. Um, that's the gesture control. Now let me show you how to get into the saber. You have a, a screw here, one here, and then one there. So when you get it, you'll have just one here so it's easy to get in and out of, but you'll, you'll get a baggie that has uh, three. See, here it is right here. These are your three little set screws. You also have this tiny little piece here that looks like a small little uh, barrel. That piece is optional. Some use it and some don't. It goes um, right there. You can see a little, there's a little hole there. You can glue it in there if you want to use it or don't if you don't want. So once you remove these three set screws, you can then pull the bottom off and it exposes your, uh, where your battery goes. By the way, these use a 21700 battery because you have to really power three different, three blades. This is the on off switch. And to get access to the Profi, you uh, remove this screw and this panel comes off revealing the insides. So when you turn it on, now you can turn it on. Um, again, the button down here will change the fonts. Purple. People like Mace Windu, Kylo. I can bring you in warm. There's the uh, dark saber blade. Where is he? Darth Vader from Kenobi. Reva. Qui Gon. It's got about 20 to 25 fonts, so I won't show them all. I'll let you look at them. You also have these, which are blade plugs, if you want to put these in. Uh, right here is the blade retention screw for the uh, side blades, and then there's one up here for the main blade. Make sure. When you go to put these blades in, hold the blade in for firmly when you turn it on, and while it's on, just tighten it just enough to hold the blade. Doesn't You don't have to over-tighten it, and you don't want to under-tighten it. You'll figure out the best way to do it. You do get a battery charger since the battery on this side is removable. Make sure uh, you put the plus side of this battery in correctly. You'll notice underneath. When you take the battery out, there is a plus and a minus shown, so you can see what end it goes in. This piece right here is a tool, actually. It uh, it it removes this piece. If you uh, unscrew this with this tool, 
You can put this in there and it'll unscrew it. This portion will slide off in case you need to get access to the top part. But uh, most people don't, but this is a cool tool to have if you do. Uh, you got uh, your blade retention screw, or I'm sorry, blade retention Allen key. And then you have, uh, this is your Allen key for tightening the three that go around. You also have these wires. A lot of people like to use them, put them in. Let me show you how this works. So once you put this in and you put in, uh, let's just put in one of the screws so we can have it held. There you go. Now, you, if you only use one, it might be a little wobbly, so I would use all three, and then it's nice and firm. What a lot of people will do is they will feed this wire up through here, up through here, through these four little places. And some will just tuck this down under here. And then um, some will cut this and then just tuck it under here. But for now, I'm just gonna tuck it under, but you can cut it and then it goes right there. This uh, blue one, a lot of people will uh, put a little dab of hot glue and just glue it up in, up inside here and then glue it down in here. So basically your blue wire goes in this little area if you want to use it. Some do, some don't. But um, I think that's all there is to know about this saber and all the parts that come with it. So if you have um, any questions, just let us know and we'll be glad to help you. But uh, this is how you work the... CrossGuard 3.0 with all of its wonderful features and um, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Take care.